Thank you, Gregory, to let me introduce this uh, um, session. Um, the main point of this introduction is to talk about 2020. Of course, from a VR point of view, especially for tourism, culture, and heritage. But before developing this point, I will quickly introduce the company Art of Corner. Since um, 2016, 2016, sorry, Art of Corner is a VR content producer, mainly in the field of art, culture, and heritage. From the very beginning, we are experts in the designing volumetric, sixed off VR content with photographic rendering. Intel asked us to write a white paper about pho photogrammetry applied to VR, visible on the website. And finally, Art of Corner received many awards, especially the award for the best VR interactive content in Laval Virtual 2018. And yesterday, the award in the category VR Focus with Sculpture Experience. In 2018, it was for Atelier Bourdel. Uh, Atelier Bourdel is um, um, available on um, um, Viveport freely. Uh, I think that uh, in the fifth edition of Laval Virtual, two awards is, is quite uh, interesting. <laughs> in brief, Art of Corner design an now broadcast very qualitative, immersive, and interactive experience for museums, institutions, and many famous brands in luxury area. So let's come back to the main subject of this intro. 2020 was an Anus horribilis, <laughs> or Anus mirabilis, for VR, it's a big question. Truth is always in the middle, but I have some answers. Past the period of astonishment, I saw a lot of partners in VR, especially little structures that had real difficulties to keep alive the company. From Art of Corner point of view, I must say that many museums and institutions asked me to create VR projects. Clearly, this leads me to the next point about Emissive Company. Emissive Company, a French company specialist in immersive experience in VR, carried out in November 2020 its first fundraising of 2.9 million euros from the Totem Touch Fund, managed on behalf of the states by BPI France, as part of the PIA program, Divestment for the Future, Art Nova, and HTC. On this occasion, the company is launching its new format called Immersive Expe Expedition for museum and cultural institutions around the world. So, it's clearly the the main point, a very difficult year for little company and for a company which have um, a real experience, reference, uh, a very um, good year. The final point, uh, sculpture experience from my point of view, um, I want to produce and distribute with standalone headset and also VR chat. It's very important for me to be on Oculus Quest 2 to reach the general public and especially young, young people uh, with this uh, fantastic um, headset, which is Oculus Quest 2. Uh, from the first um, headset with Quest 1, we let uh, HTC Vive and uh, uh, wired headset. But the main mm, constraint is to optimize and optimize and optimize the 3D models. But now we have this experience to create a, a very fluid experience with 3D models and with photorealistic rendering, always. The second point is to uh, diffuse on the web via VR chat. So sculpture experience will be available on uh, VR chat on September, next September, 
So with um, my partner, VR Room, who produce um, Welcome to the Other Side, uh, we will be visible and uh, available on the app chat. I think for me, it's a, a real vision for the future to be uh, on a headset, um, a st standalone headset on one part and the second part online. Because a lot of institutions ask me to be online. <laughs> That's my conclusion.